Hey, what's up, everybody? Spadrock here, and I'm here to give you the H Hour Weekly Community Update number 27. This week, it's the beginning of week two of the non development cycle thing that we're in for H Hour. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but as you guys know from last week, H Hour development has been put on hold until they have found more investors to invest in the game. You know, money's a thing, resources are a thing. So, right now we're in a pretty weird stage for a lot of people, obviously, because, you know, there's no updates or anything. People are like, what is happening with the game? Is everything going to be okay? Personally, I've been around the community this week. You know, at first it was just like, damn, like we really don't know, right? But the vibes have been a lot better. Um, we've actually seen some cool stuff on Twitter um, you know I'm not trying to jinx it but hopefully it could lead to something good and uh, yeah apparently workshop is still in the works so that's good at least they're not giving up on us you know at least if anything we'll get that so let's get into it so obviously there's no patch or anything so I'm just gonna go straight into the quick look and it's uh, I want to say it's pretty lengthy not really but there's like some technical stuff in there I'll try to skip over um, but yeah so uh, Tom writes once again over the weekend I saw an amazing amount of progress from people making maps so on that note people are still you know making maps and still working so nobody's giving up here baby we're, we're here to the end you know what I'm saying so if you're feeling pessimistic don't nothing has changed nothing has happened all right we're gonna get there let's hope so you know I'm optimistic about it and you could tell because my mood's better but it's also because I have no midterms so I could actually think straight again so continuing on uh, the rest of the team have been supporting community activities and development of an improved workshop so yeah there there was like a, a pistols only Friday night thing and yeah people were actually playing on that so that's pretty dope I mean you know it's good to have community matches uh, apparently it was a good amount of people on the server at the time uh, I'm not sure I was studying so <laughs> missed it but uh yeah so that that's that's real cool I'm, I'm very excited for that that they're actually like, doing community events and they show up on Steam and everything and yeah so Tom Tom was saying that he's also working on the investor front still so obviously that's an ongoing thing but yeah so continuing on this revised app because they're talking about the improved workshop upload application that is necessary to protect file content which is the main reason steam like workshop isn't out yet so it's basically to protect file content and they're trying to fix that so people could upload their maps right uh and like i just said they had a friday event pistols only the turnout was excellent everybody had fun um people were talking about how they want to do in like a, a shotgun only one this friday so that was pretty cool also vice president shout out to my man vp aka the I don't even know. I know he's a tester. You know, he tests the patches and stuff, I'm assuming. And he's also in the beta workshop team. So, uh, yeah, there was a stream run by VP recently. And, you know, I'll put that in the description below. So you could peep, you could peep that if you're interested on how, like, the maps are uh, that are in current workshop. And there's actually some really legit ones. I know he showed his desert raid again. He says it's 100% done, like 100% playable. Uh, there's a little tweaks to it, so if you like Desert Glory, you'll like it obviously because it's it's basically 95% Desert Glory with a little bit of uh, some changes to you know to make it a little bit more unique. So uh, it looks pretty good. It, it, it's pretty much similar though, so I wouldn't you know I wouldn't stress out. Uh, also, peop there was a clan war this weekend, and they, they put a server up for that apparently, so that's cool. So they, whatever their suggestions for activities, they'll they'll do it up. So if everybody's creative in the community, we could keep ourselves occupied until something happens. So uh, like he said right here, okay, this is a little bit more technical, so bear with me. So our assessment of the current state of workshop beta and the risk posed to members has confirmed we need to put it in a better place, a uh, better validation tool for files before we release the maps to the public. So basically, uh, they need it. They need something a little bit better for the files so it's safer and that means record recording of the workshop upload app which is what he mentioned earlier and the rebuild of the app has been started by Jason whoever Jason is thank you kind sir we know you know you probably have a huge task on your hands 
but we really appreciate it like i talk to the guys on discord like three times a week and that's all they want and like they don't even care what happens to the game they just want that workshop so you know thank you for working hard i hope uh, you'll find a solution soon i'm optimistic you know you guys are hard workers over there so it'll come through eventually so a new SDK release, I don't know what this means, slowed his progress down as he had to go back and redo much of his first pass coding on the app to avoid the dreaded dep deprecated code. I guess that's like starting all over. And issues new releases bring. He has successfully created the ability to obtain workshop items from Steam and is pulling storing details for creator owned and user subscribed content. So. I guess the ability to get the workshop items from Steam for like everybody else is good. So that's a step. I mean, I, I didn't really know the, like what was happening behind Steam Workshop. Like we didn't know the logistics. So this is kind of like a little bit of transparency to see what's actually happened. So next task will be presenting will be presenting the information received from Steam in a format UE4 and blueprint friendly so he can begin work on the file wizard and the needed integrity checks and they'll provide more updates on that next week so you're probably like what does that mean i'm not gonna lie to you i don't even know what that means basically from what i could tell it's it's a way for ua4 and blueprint friendly so you can be in the work on the file wizard uh, i had an idea in my head but i looked at it over and whatever the case is that's their next step <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ um, and yeah basically they're still working on the workshop and it's cool because we thought that they put that on halt too you know so like for funding so speaking of funding on the funding front some of you may have noticed this is uh, from the quick look so some of you may have noticed that one fella our Twitter account was interested in hearing more about H hour in true community fashion you began to tell them how much you love the early games like SOCOM and that you felt H hour in the studio was working hard to get you guys what you want. He was extremely happy to see uh, such unified group come together and never underestimate the power of social media. And thank you all for the support on that post. You know, I, I posted on that. And I'm hopeful we hear something back. In the meantime, I'm still talking with interested parties about H hour and his future. So there was a guy named Kevin Dent, and uh, DN Street kind of reached out to him. And then we, he saw a little bit of the game. I, I tweeted him a video. I'm not sure if he saw it. And uh, he says that he's, you know, he likes how it looks, and that he, the the picture, the tweet that he, that Tom put in the quick look. It says, "Wow, the SOF studio certainly has a super passionate fan base. That alone is impressive." And hey, man, if you're a SOCOM fan, you know passion is in our blood. Anybody who played SOCOM, they got that competitive drive and passion. That's one thing everybody has like in common. I mean, I, I know there's some people who don't want to see the, you know, this game go far, but I don't know. To each their own. I'm, I'm here. I'm here to the end. You know, if we could get a good SoCon game, maybe they'll change their minds. Who knows? That'll be cool. And then, you know, everything will be all fine. But we're not there yet, so let's not think about that. And yeah, so he says, we realize that not everyone will be supportive in our efforts to try and make the game a reality, but that doesn't discourage us from getting up every day with an attitude of gratitude. We are here because you guys supported this studio both financially and with your time. And I will continue to fight on your behalf until we see this project cross the finish line. And that's pretty, uh, it's pretty heartwarming. It's pretty good to, to hear as a community member because it's like, he doesn't feel down on the situation. So, I mean, Tom's a soldier, man. And I know, I know people are like, oh, it's just words, but hey, you can only test a man, you know test the man's character through time and he's been working pretty hard uh through all the bowl for the most part he's trying his best at least and that's that's all i can ask for you know and uh he said this week should be interesting because i do have a pretty good follow-up meeting scheduled with regards to investments i'll let you guys know the outcome of that meeting in next tuesday's quick look and he says have a great week and thank you all for your continued support have a safe and blessed easter more next tuesday so that's it for that guys so basically he has like investments lined up i mean i'm realistic that doesn't mean we're, we're good <laughs> you know it means they still have to go to the meeting but it's a follow-up meeting so that's that means they you know they met up with the people before and now they're meeting up with them again and 
um, I'm happy to see that because that shows that like some people are interested, you know. And and this is not the guy Kevin Dent, so maybe that if anything we have that backup plan too. I mean, again, I, I'm not like I'm trying to be as open mind. I'm excited, obviously. It's good to hear some type of news, but I remember a lot before when it came to like how's ps4 progress going he, they would put in the quick look yeah we we've been talking with people so blah 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 um i'm not sure if you know you know what i mean like you don't want to overestimate it basically you don't want him to think you don't want to think like oh okay we're good you gotta you gotta you know be on your toes about this stuff not that i'm saying i don't trust them i'm just saying you never know what's gonna happen so don't get too excited but at least there's like a light at the end of the tunnel all right, but I, I don't know. That's, that's pretty much it, guys. I know that I feel a little bit better about the situation. Like last week, I was a little bit more gloomy. I mean, I was still optimistic, but you could tell. Like, that's just not good news from la- like at, at face value. Everybody was just like, ugh, ugh. But yeah, um, for me personally, I feel like there's a little bit of a weight lifted off their shoulders. You know, as a community member, I feel like if we get the funding, we'll get what we want and good quality and maybe faster instead of this little you know snail like pace and there's less chance for error now there's no there's no pressure that they have to get the game out by may which i knew was pretty unrealistic regardless uh but yeah that was wishful thinking but yeah guys i'm gonna have more content coming very soon don't you worry i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make this eight hour experience as enjoyable to watch as possible as the game progresses outside of the news like i know news is not the only thing but since there's no news to you know to produce or to announce um i mean unless there's investors and stuff then uh i could pump out content i could actually focus on that like cool stuff like i'm not gonna ruin it maybe some over the commentary stuff things like that I'll showcase some community members too. Little things like that. You know, I have some ideas. Um, I don't want to tell you one thing and then do the other. I feel like that's misguiding and not cool. But uh, yeah, things are coming. I promise. And if there's anything you guys have any questions on, I'm always glad to answer. Even if like it's a negative question, I'll, I'll answer you. I'm not the type of guy to like, oh, he's hating. I'll answer you and, and you know answer back like a man. Just uh, make sure it's like, I mean, even if it's a trolley question, I'll, I'll tr- you know, I'll, I'll respond because I'm, I'm like that. I'm a loser. <laughs> I like to have fun. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter.com slash Mr. Spab. Follow me on Twitch.tv slash Spab underscore Rog. And also, don't forget to follow SO Studios on the Twitters. And uh, yeah, I'll put VP's uh, stream thing so you guys can see the maps. I'll give you some content then. And uh, yeah, you could also go to the Reddit subreddit. Right now it's a little dead. I'm not going to lie. The, the Reddit subreddit for H hour is pretty dead. I'm like the only one to post in it. And I, it has to do with the guys not really liking social media. Some old school fellas up in here. You know what I'm saying? You know, SoCon people are a pretty stubborn bunch. So yeah. We got to fix that up, though, boys. But, yeah, guys, till next time. Uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Enjoy. Have a happy Easter. Peace.